Welcome back to OMG The Cloud. Today in our PFSense series, we're talking HA proxy. This is gonna let us set up a reverse proxy to secure multiple websites behind your firewall. You probably experienced the issue of only being able to expose one service on any particular port. You need some sort of a proxy if you're gonna send more than one service through on that same port. In our previous episode, I recommend you check that out. Go ahead and click the uh, icon in the top right there if you haven't already seen it we went ahead and set up Let's Encrypt SSL certificates. We're gonna be using those to secure our HA proxy. Let's get that HA proxy service installed. Go to System, Package Manager, Available Packages, HA proxy, and go ahead and install the HA proxy, the non-development edition. Confirm. And we're done with that. Before we get into installing or configuring any of the HA proxy, let's go ahead and set up the rules first. Now, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is change our admin port for our PFSense. Right now it's running on 443, but we're gonna take that over for HA proxy. So let's start, go to system, go to advanced, and TCP port, I recommend setting it to 8443. And you can save that. Now, what you may need to do is go in and shut down your PFCTL again. So if you go PFCTL-D, disable, and now you'll be able to access that port 8443. Now that you're in temporarily, like we did in our first episode, we can go to firewall rules, and we can update this rule here. Instead of HTTPS, we're going to say other 8443 save that and apply now when that applies again it's going to restart our packet filtering so you'll probably need to come in and disable it one more time so you can hit pfctld to get back into your web interface once again and then from here i recommend a reboot so diagnostic reboot and once that comes back up you should be able to refresh and log in as you did before and then you're you're back in we could take another look at our firewall rules and we see we're on 8443. Okay, so we freed up port 443, which we're gonna need. Let's go ahead and add those rules in. Hit add, protocol, TCP slash UDP, source any, destination. It's going to be this firewall. And port range, we're gonna do HTTP and save. Go ahead and add another rule, be TCP UDP, this firewall. This will be HTTPS, save and apply. And there we go, you should look like this. In this case, the order doesn't really matter. So you can change that if you like. Next, let's go ahead and start with HA proxy config. So go to services, HA proxy, and let's start with our HTTP to HTTPS redirect rule. So go ahead and click add. Name can't have any spaces, just remember that. It's gonna grab anything on port 80. Defaults here are just fine. Down in the action section, go ahead and click that arrow, and we're gonna choose HTTP request redirect. And the rule field, we're gonna go ahead and put in scheme space https lowercase and that's it scroll to the bottom hit save and apply this is going to grab any incoming http requests redirect them to https so they'll be secured over ssl next we're going to take a look at the https side so we're going to work from the back forward we need our back-end services to be available before we can configure the front so click on the back-end tab and let's go ahead and add a web server omg web and we need to give it a list of servers, OMG Web01, forward to. We're gonna put this on our DMZ, which we configured previously. I'll go ahead and link to that in the description below. 10.1.20.100, port 8080. And with that, these other settings can be left at default. Help check is another one that may get you on different services. You can just turn it off. There's other options below here for monitoring, but this is stuff that we'll cover in a more advanced session. Go ahead and hit save and apply. So now we have a backend service that we can route traffic to. So let's go to front end. We're gonna make an additional front end and we're gonna call this HTTPS front end. No spaces allowed. External addresses here. This is gonna be port 443 and we wanna check SSL offloading. This is gonna let us use the certificate that is installed on your PFSense. Let's come down to the access control lists. Go ahead and give it a name. We'll call it OMG Web. 
And for the expression, we want to say host matches. So we're going to give it the FQDN, the fully qualified domain name of the incoming request. So this is where we can separate out multiple services to route to as many backend web servers as you want. So we're going to call this website.omgthecloud.com. And we're going to go down to actions, add a new one, use backend. ACL names, this needs to match the name that we used up here. So OMG Web, this is going to be the match. And then the back end, this is the back end service we created before for the actual web server. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little further. Go ahead and check the forward for option. Some web servers don't play nice when they don't know what the source IP was, and this will take care of that. And SSL offloading. Go ahead and select the certificate that we created in the last video. In this case, it was a wildcard certificate. So this will cover anything in that domain's namespace. And you want to go ahead and check the ACL certificate. And that's going to do it for this section. Go to the bottom and hit save and apply. This is a great place to stop for today. We've configured our HTTP to HTTPS redirect. We configured a basic backend server and gave it a FQDN namespace. We went ahead and moved our PFSense web UI to a non-default port so it didn't conflict. And we're ready in our next video to go ahead and spin up a basic web server in the back end for testing and create DNS records to match all this up and do some testing. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you in the next one.